Now that the wool is washed and dried, we're ready to card it. Carding is the process where you take the wool fiber and you, and you brush it back and forth to get it in the same direction so all the fibers lay parallel to one another and it gets all the, the rest of the debris that might be still in the fiber so that you have a nice pure um, high quality fiber to work with when you're spinning. Uh, we, we started out using dog brushes and hair brushes to try to card it and it just wasn't it was balling up on us it wasn't working very well and we're pretty new to this so we we kind of needed something that would work you know really efficiently for us you know because we didn't want to get discouraged right off the bat so um, necessity is the mother of all invention and my husband um, came up with a really great um, carding paddle he made it in in his wood shop and we we sell them in our homestead store now. So anyway, um, I'll show you how to card the wool using these paddles that my husband made. First you take your raw wool fiber and grab your paddle and hold it like this. And then you just start brushing it onto your paddle. Just keep grabbing it and pulling it through, just like that. Because the idea is to get it all in the same direction. Now that the fiber is laced in all the prongs here like this, we're going to take the other paddle. We're going to real gently take off little by little, just comb it in this direction. You always want to run the paddles perpendicular to one another this so you can keep it all in the same direction. So you just keep combing it till you can't get any more off of there. Keep pulling. And see on my apron already I have a whole bunch of pieces of hay and debris. That's the whole idea of it. Get it nice and clean. It's actually really fun. <laughs> when you have the right tools that is. I was not having very much fun yesterday when I was using the wrong equipment. Sometimes I just flip it so it's still vertical and then I keep going down this way to get a little bit more off. So now I'm going to set this one aside. I'm going to remove the, uh, the leftovers on this side. I'm going to put it back in my pile of wool and then grab the, the one where you just brushed it all off of and I I see here I have a real nice matted piece of wool. Now those types of things, if you see like a big piece of, like a big um, piece of hay or straw or something, you just pick it out while you're going. And then here's a nice matted long strand. I'm gonna stick that back in the pile. Those types of things, if you can't get them out, you just discard those because they're really not gonna help having them in your finished product. So here, I'm going to put this one vertical again, and I'm going to just gently brush through here. It goes real easy, and, then, and it brushes it out real nice. You might have to take about two to four passes, depending on how matted up your wool is. I've been doing about four passes, because I like, I want it to be really, really fluffy when I work with it. So here's the next pass and I can already see see these these little matted balls and such. I just kind of pick pick some of those out. The other paddle the the other paddle, you know, when you look at this paddle, you'll see a lot of debris in there and you'll see a lot of little matted balls and such. Those you want to you want to take that out and then you're ready to brush this batch again. I see one more little piece of hay. So here we go. So we hold it vertical and then just gently comb it this way again. Now this is my third pass, so we'll see how it comes out. I just saw a big hunk come through there. I'll remove those as I go. It's going pretty good here. It's going to be so pretty. This wool has got a nice color to it. It has uh, these nice silvery threads through it. It's going to be really, really pretty. Uh, lots of um, wool fiber enthusiasts like white wool because they can 
dye it all different colors and but yet some people appreciate you know this this you know colored raw wool like uh, if you have sheep that have brown or black fur or multicolored fur it's you know it's a little bit different and fun and very natural so it's it's becoming more popular so I'm going to set that aside and one more pass here is the good fiber so I'm going to take that off gently and just keep it in the the way that it comes off of there so it's all in the right direction and I have a nice basket over here it's nice to have a extra basket around so you can put all your good fiber in there so you keep it separate from the un carded wool. So my basket's getting full. It's so exciting.